In 1777, George Washington, commander-in-chief of the Continental Army, was fighting on two fronts, one against the British Redcoats and one against enemies in his own ranks. Could a growing political clique known as the Conway Cabal end the career of the great George Washington just two years into the Revolutionary War? The war had been going well for the revolutionaries, with victories at Trenton and Princeton boosting morale among American troops. But the tide began to turn when the British moved on Philadelphia. At the Battle of Brandywine, Washington's army failed to stop the Redcoats, who marched triumphant into the then capital. Washington's impeccable reputation as commander-in-chief was called into question, presenting an opportunity for Continental Army General Horatio Gates, who had ambitions to take over the top job. For Gates, the timing was good. Thomas Conway, an Irish-born soldier, had written to him criticizing Washington's leadership, and when the letter was revealed, it made Washington's defenders wary. Was there a plot to dispose of him? These suspicions created bitter divisions at a time when the revolutionary cause was fragile. Congress was divided. Those who wanted to replace Washington knew that opposing him openly would be risky. A new committee, the Board of War, presented an opportunity. Their main aim was to improve congressional funding and organization of the Army. Who was appointed Inspector General of the Board? None other than our letter-writing friend, Thomas Conway. With these maneuverings, Gates was confident that he'd soon become Commander-in-Chief. In response, Washington deftly marshaled his own support in Congress and the Army, while his vital ally, Lafayette, declared that French support was dependent on Washington keeping the top job. Gates apologized to Washington and denied any plot. Soon, Conway had no choice but to resign, and the Conway cabal, as it came to be known, was over before it began. Washington remained commander-in-chief with the backing of Congress and went on to win the war. But who knows what might have been had the Conway cabal succeeded. <laughs>